Good afternoon, magandang hapon, maayong hapon. In the last 10 years, we have observed a mismatch in supply and demand of housing in the Philippines, especially in resettlement housing. And this is indicated by displaced beneficiary families trooping back to their places of origin, distant and suitable incomplete substandard resettlement projects, and unoccupied housing units in government resettlement projects. So we ask ourselves, how do you match housing supply and demand? Our team in Planadas decided to look at the bigger context and relate the issue of housing to the issue of land and ask further, how do you design settlements that are complete, address basic needs, and how do, where do you locate them? Our proposed solution is a model that can predict new growth areas and a tool to match housing supply and demand. And we call this model BUILD, which stands for Balance Urban Infrastructure and Land Development. We examined economic, transportation, clan classification, and environment factors and saw how they influenced the growth of settlements. We also analyzed Philippine policies, laws, and standards, and how they influence urban growth. The increase in population, in turn, influenced the growth of additional housing, and also which needs to be supported by basic infrastructures such as power and water. We integrated our statistical model in geographic information system such that we combine both statistical and spatial components in a model. Now this enabled us to project not only population growth, but also to predict urban land use. The predicted number of households in 2020 for all provinces was computed by plugging in the 2015 values of the identified factors of growth. The number of households for each of the provinces was predicted and ranked, resulting in the top 20 provinces. So here are the results. These are the predictors of urban growth. First, internal revenue allocation, average family income, government expenditure, area exposed to flooding hazard, presence of economic zones, distance to the nearest airport, groundwater allocation, road density, and percent of protected areas. In 2020, this will be the top growing provinces in the Philippines. As you can see, six of the 10 top growing provinces are located in Calabarzon and Central Luzon, which can be explained by the spillover effects of their proximity to the national capital region. However, we see the emergence of growth centers in Visayas and Mindanao, especially Cebu, Negros Occidental, and Davao del Sur, and the growth is led by their capital cities. Now, we applied this model in Davao City, and we observed that from 2003 to 2015, growth has sprawled from the coast to the inland areas. We also noticed that developments tend to occur along the main roads and highways. Our team not only offers a settlements development model for new growth areas, we will also build a tool for estimating future housing requirements and how much they cost. And, and in the next step, we intend to build training modules which we will share with users of both the government and the private sector and these modules will be available in UP Diliman School of Urban and Regional Planning, as well as in DOST Pishur. Our training sessions will be offered in the pilot site and also in Quezon City. We hope that this model will enable national government agencies such as NEDA, DILG, 
HUDC, NHA, HLURB, among others, to project the growth areas within their sector. And more importantly, we hope that LGUs will make good use of our tool to identify growth areas within their territory or within their locality and estimate future housing requirements and how much they would cost. After all, planning is essentially a public function and it should be led by government. If you would like to know more about our model, please get in touch with us and we would be more than willing to share more information with you. We hope that through the application of this model using data and technology, the culture of planning will be enhanced and nurtured among us Filipinos. When we are proactive rather than reactive, our land, housing, and human resources are developed and matched. As we say in our sector, Ang Pilipino marunong magplano. Thank you very much.